What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and there's been a bit of controversy over whether or not the camera cutout is a success on the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus. In my opinion, when it's compared to phones like the iPhone 10 or the Pixel 3 XL, I much prefer the camera cutout on the S10 and S10 Plus over the ridiculous notch on those devices. If you're not sold on the camera cutout on the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, I'm gonna give you three awesome things that you can do with that cutout to make it super useful for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Because we don't have a notch or a top bezel, it eliminates the possibility of having an LED notification. There's actually a no root app that can hack your camera cutout to be used as an LED notification. Real quickly, I'll send myself a text message so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, and there is that LED notification. As you can see, it looks super sharp, and I'm gonna show you guys how to enable it. All right, so you're gonna grab an application called Always On Edge out of the Play Store. The application is free. There are donation options inside the app, and to simply set this up, you're gonna click on the settings. You're gonna go ahead and allow the required permissions, all four permissions, and I choose to allow this app to run without restriction. And I have seen a slight decrease in battery life, but overall it hasn't really changed up my battery life. Under app settings where it says how to start manually only when I want it to open. And then you'll check where it says when notifications come. Go ahead and check that. And then I choose always off or on. That way you're going to get that notification LED ring regardless of whether your screen is on or off. You can change the repeat and reminder. The notification light here will repeat every 30 seconds for eight seconds if you don't do something about the notification that came in. One thing that I love about this is that you can customize the LED depending on which app is notifying you. So for my text messages, I have blue and green. For my Gmail, I have red. And you can kind of do it that way. For Twitter, I have blue. So if you want all applications to show, including like your system apps, like your messages, Go ahead and select enable all and show system apps and something like the messages app will then show up. And so I have mine set for two colors for blue and green. That way when I have text messages, I'm going to get that blue and green LED light. All right, so then we'll kind of go down here. So where it says enable edge lighting, make sure that you do go down here and click enable notch support and then make sure that you click where it says around notch only. That'll take it, it starts out around the screen and when you check these two things, it'll put it around the camera cutout. Of course, there's all kinds of different customization options. This has the display clock turned on. I turned it off because I already have always on display on this phone. I don't need their version of always on display. And then all the way at the bottom, make sure that you save it. If you don't save it, then the changes won't take effect. There are different options for saving. You can pay $1 and you can save it without having to watch an ad. There is a free option that does require you to watch an ad. So that is the notification LED around the camera cutout hole. And I personally think that this is the best use of the camera cutout. Hopefully Samsung will bring this officially to the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. All right, so the next thing that you can do is add a battery indicator for your camera cutout. We're gonna use an app called Energy Ring. It's free in the Play Store. And once you open up the app, you just turn it on. You'll go to this Energy Ring and go ahead and allow access to Energy Ring. And immediately, it gives you that battery readout right there by the camera cutout. I think this is an excellent use of that camera cutout. You can choose to increase the ring thickness so that you can see it better. You can choose the orientation of the ring. And then there's this color configuration here that will indicate the actual level. That way you can just kind of glance at it and say, well, my battery's between 51 and 75% because it's blue. Once it gets orange, it's 26 to 50%. It just gives you quick access to information about your battery level. And I think it just looks super, super sharp. So that's energy ring for the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. All right, the last app that we're gonna take a look at is the Heidi Hole. So for this application, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the energy ring. Heidi Hole is going to really take advantage of the camera cutout. And this is a good way to hide the camera cutout or actually use it for your advantage. Something like the Punisher wallpaper here makes full advantage of the two cameras there, making it the barrel of Punisher's gun. If you wanted to just totally hide it, you could hide it with an 
wallpaper like this, which kind of just makes it fade into the background. You can use it with this X-Men wallpaper, which takes total advantage of the cutout, making it part of the wallpaper. And as you can see here, there are just all kinds of wallpapers that utilize the camera cutout to kind of incorporate the camera cutout into the wallpaper. These are three really quick modifications to the camera cutout that make it more useful. It's less of a hindrance when you can actually utilize it. And hopefully Samsung will decide to add some of this compatibility or customization into official versions of their software. That about wraps it up for this video. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick up all of these applications. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.